Okay. The max on the blower is like 67 miles an hour. That would be like a direct hit. So stand over there a little bit and then work your way close to the Mambo when I take it off. We'll see if the Mambo is worthy of some serious winds. Some serious wind shear. <coughs> Go ahead and hit it. Yeah, hit it, man. Come on over. Well, it's, it withstood it. Man, it's dancing all over the place, but it's handling it. Well, there it went. Well, you, you shot it underneath, and that's what killed it. But hitting it from the side, it was dancing around like crazy, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't fail, you know? What? Yeah. But don't go underneath like that, because that's the fate worse than death there. Just hit it from the side like you were doing. Okay. That's good enough for the Mambo. Nice it one. really could, it really did a pretty damn good job on uh, that wind. I gotta give it a little credit for that thing. This is what we got, the Mambo versus the Tello with the wind test. Now, we seen what the, uh, the Mambo would do. Now let's fire up the Tello, which is a lot harder to get going than the, than the Mambo because of course, you know, all this crap with the phone and all that shit, so. Let me get it situated here a little bit. Okay, go ahead. Pull it down a little bit, the air. You're going, you're kind of going over the top of it. Yeah, it's doing good, man. You want to see how it does underneath? No, because it'll do the same thing. Believe me, it'll you be it'll belly flop just like the other one did, just like that. Okay, I would say that that's all right. I would say that those were pretty damn equal in the high wind test. You thought this one was a little better, did you? The other one danced around, but I still think they were pretty pretty damn close. I mean, it'll be up to the people watching it to uh, make that decision. But I would say they were pretty close.